good point in that um, players need to be playing um, in a match environment, playing cricket too, and of uh, a, a fairly good standard. And here is Bradford on strike. 246 for four, Tongli on side oh. again. Ah, this time it's gone for more wide, so another five wides. It's gone past Hamilton. And brings up the 250 for Barbados, 251 for four Victor Eddy. Yes, and really. Uh, Devon Thomas not getting it um, as his captain Sylvester Joseph would like him too and the leeward skin uh, ill afford to be given away those luxurious runs to the Barbados total which will only enhance their um, lead and uh, no doubt anyway that the Barbados team would get runs they will accept them and here is Thomas again from the southern end Thomas is into bow to Ali Batwet picks up the line. There's no need for him to, to go at it, but he's certainly getting the ball to dart around. Um, this is interesting. Yeah, he's clapping away, just maybe just needs to get his radar right. Providing he, he, he does get his radar right, it could be a problem in terms of what's going to be happening. 250 up for Barbados, 101.2 overs, 395 minutes, 27 boundaries and 1 6, 24 extra so far. So on a staying down low, Hamilton had to get down in a long barrel position very quickly. So Barbados 250, 101.2 overs, 398 minutes. We want to say thanks to our scorer, an excellent job. And 27 boundaries and 1-6, 250 up for Barbados, 251 for 4. Thomas is in to bow to Bradford. He's back on fishing this one down to third line. That's raced down there very quickly. <laughs> and Bradford goes up to 117. Stout to 75. Score goes up to 252. 252 for four, Victor. Yes, and uh, um, Devon Thomas coming off the, 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 the track. Um, the pitch here, uh, very quick here at Warner Park, but ill-directed. And you can see Bradford just using the pace and... Calbert Walters, who is on the third man boundary, it went one bounce to him. And they're so quickly to travel. Stout to 75, is in, stays this one down to Calbert Walters in the third man boundary. Comes across, picks it up nicely, hurls it up. So. Interval, well, Stout will be the batsman on strike. Devon Thomas is still going to continue from the southern end. Yes, Thomas in his third over. Moving in now to bowl to Stout. Stout gets an in Ducker. That's the defend, comes on stylishly. Shane Burton at square leg knocks it around and he just lobs it up to Justin Athenaeus. 254 for four, Stout to 77. Batwet is at 117. You can see that he loves that bat because you're looking at all of the red spots. And the face of that, the blade. Here is Thomas Ball in a short delivery to Stout who's pulling it to square leg. He picked up a couple of runs. Only get that much. He goes up to 79. Score goes up to 256. 256 for four. And Barbados mustering away. 256 for four. Craig Bradford is on 117. And he almost looks like a long time ago in terms of the batsmen who've been maybe out for Team Barbados. Rashi Boucher caught Thomas Bo Walters without scoring. And Kirk Edwards LBW to Walters for 32. We break as Thomas is in to bow to Stout at one kept low. He had to come down on it. But the most important thing, he was on his front foot. Shy Hope caught Hamilton Bow Ward for four. And Jonathan Carter, LBW to Shane Burton without scoring. Those are the wickets that have gone back in the pavilion so far for Team Barbados. Not of batsmen. Craig Bradford at 117 and Stout at 79. It's been a good knock. Gets a good shot delivery. And Hamilton had to take that above head height. Now the umpire is coming in and warning Devon Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I and mean, really it, 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 it took off uh, real quick and, and Thomas is looking uh, quite pacey and if he can just get them lined up those deliveries uh, and especially one like that, uh, not taking off so high, <laughs> you can pull some a different proposition here. 256, Latin. sorry Victor, 256 mm, yeah. for... <laughs> yeah, no shot. Sure. Uh, for four... And Stout gets a lifter. Now, Thomas is certainly working up some steam here. And I tell you, this young man is just full of potential. Captain Sylvester Joseph is now calling his sweeper, Linda Richardson. He's going to put him under the head.
helmet. So Richardson comes in like a hockey goalkeeper with all of his gloves and everything padded up. And let's see if Thomas can maybe find another short delivery again. But that one made Kevin Stout more or less flinch. And just like to maybe see Linda Richardson a little closer, but he's a little way back. Thomas is into ball to Stout. Stout is driving, can't go past uh, Powell. And this has been a good little hostile spell here so far. Score remains on 100 and... At the end of 104 overs, score is 256 for four. Yes, and as you were, you were speaking earlier too, just in the in this uh, or the previous over about um, Thomas is working up some pace here, Victor Eddie. Yes, he's operating from the southern end of the ground. Stout is 79. Is in the boat. Stout so gets a woo out of that. That really took off. And folks, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, yes, it's Devon Thomas who keeps the Leeward Islands team and the West Indies team. He's bowling at a, a lively pace here. And so it's almost, I don't want to, to really, you know, go over the top, but it sort of reminds you of a, of, a, of, a, of a hungry watch running in, bustling, short run, with good pace. Thomas is in the boat to stout stock it. <laughs> if he had to flinch at the can, <laughs> talk to Willett. And there seems to be a contest going on, Victor, between these two. Well, yeah, yeah. Devon Thomas is coming off the uh, turf, uh, the pitch, quite quickly. Yeah, but uh, if if he can, if he can just get his direction and better control with with the sort of um, de 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 deceptive pace that he's coming off the pitch, he can pose a little more difficulty for both batsmen. To fifty nine for four, but it is hundred and eighteen down the onside. That's gone. He apologizes one time, but this time it's gone for four buys, Victor, and uh, not five wides. So the score goes up to 263, 263 um, for four. Down the onside again, and Jama Hamilton had a tolerant time. And uh, I don't know, in fairness, maybe Jama maybe could have maybe stepped up, maybe, maybe been up that one, which bounced in front of him, and maybe cut it off, Victor. Yes, and really the... Devon Thomas, though, will have to try to keep it more in line because the Leeward Islands can ill afford those bonuses to the Barbados total. It's into both of Batred. Batred defends and defends nicely. So the end of over number 106, the score is 263 for 4. You're listening to live cricket coverage from Warner Park in St. Kitts, Leeward Islands versus Barbados. Yes, and they all will be the non-striker. Stout will be on strike. Devon Thomas is coming from the southern end of the ground. Stout is in... Defending stylishly back and across, and using up the crease. Normally in cricket, when you're coaching, you always try and tell your batters or your batsmen that they've got to be back and across. The right foot has got to be moving in line, especially when you've got somebody bowling quick. Maybe you have to ask Victor Eddy about Wayne Daniel and company. Here goes Thomas is in the boat to Stout, Stout on top of it. Nice high elbow. Well played, good delivery, good pace. Yes, and uh, with, 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 with any fast bowlers or bowlers in particular, overall bowlers, uh, it is very important when a batsman understands and knows where his off stump is based upon the extent of how he moves either foot, whether it's left-hander or right-hander, you have to be knowing where your stumps are. P for a leg before from the delivery from Devon Thomas, a little bit high. Stout is rubbing away at it. That one would have hit him on the inner part of the flesh. 264 for four. Stout is 81. And there's a contest taking place between Stout and Thomas. And Thomas, with a little atmospheric conditions here at Warner Park, is certainly working this old ball. He's really working it around. Then now the ball to Stout who stands up and stands up straight on it and just punches it down the mid on. Victor? Yes, and uh, as you were also mentioning about Stout, how important it is for him to get three figures and um, to say to the selectors in Barbados that um, I'm here and I'm going to be here for quite a while. That is what players need to do when given the opportunity to stamp the authority. Gets a sharp delivery and look at the punch it. He does that. And on this fast outfield, he goes into the boundary for four. So another boundary to Stout. He races up to 85. And the score goes up to 268 Barbados for four. We into over number 108. Stout is 85 and Craig Batford is on 119. Yes, and th that boundary from Stout Vernon, uh, well deserving. And the placement and the timing was good. He just used the pace and he never tried hitting the ball too hard. 
his emphasis was on placing it and he did it well and Martin just had to go from cover to the deep extra cover boundary to retrieve it so he's ever getting closer to that three figure mark is stout he's still on strike slip short leg wait is tucked up again trying to play around his part there with the no luck so the score is 268 for four. Stout is an 85 and Patrick is an 119. So since they have resumed uh, Vernon Springer coming out after the slight hold up for some rain we had earlier, they're both